Well, December is almost upon us and time for the penultimate month ahead show of the year. There will be a month ahead show in late December. There will also be a whole bunch of repeat shows over the holiday season while I'm away and some people are visiting us here and they want to check out what's new. So remember, if you've got favorite shows that you've seen over this year or previous years, drop me a line now or join on the Facebook page and leave a note there as to what shows you would like to see again. And we'll try and get some of those into the lineup of three repeats that we have over the month of December. And then, of course, we'll be back in January with the year ahead. They go, they go by so fast. And one of the reasons why this one seemed to go by so fast was the relative lack of drama that we've had compared with previous years under the previous president. I mean, I never really imagined I'd say this, but in some ways, I miss President Jacob Zuma because he had an exciting and scary astrological chart that lived up to every expectation. He was, um, you know, he, he could be relied on to pull tricks out of hats and do unexpected and dastardly things, and his chart regularly predicted that. The current president, although he does have quite an intense and exciting astrological chart of his own, as we know, he's taken an extremely quiet approach to presidenting. Um, many of us are not sure that he's doing any presidenting, but be that all as it may, it means his astrological chart doesn't have that much to say about anything that he's going to do because, well, he ain't doing it. But, of course, there is the chart of the country, and the chart of the country does reflect a lot of what the president is up to and what's really going on. Well, as we know, there have been a lot of investment drives and all of those things to try and bolster the economy and the currency and to try and kind of paper over some of the huge economic mistakes that have been made in the past. And a lot of that can be seen in the, in the chart. In fact, astrologically, it looks like we've got a bunch of success out of all those investment drives. Apart from people who might be claiming or pledging or whatever, it does look like there is money coming into the country. What is also apparent, and maybe not so apparent to the rest of us, is the uh, deals and who the allies are that the government is getting involved with in order to get these investments. As much as all the regular investment drive and targets are there, it does look like there are all sorts of interesting behind-the-scenes contracts or deals that are being made, perhaps with countries that we don't normally do so much business with. Our chart does show a lot of international affairs, as we used to call it. Lots of dealing with other countries, negotiations and talks and all of those kind of things, mostly looking quite good. Although there is a small mention of possible xenophobia and at worst xenophobic violence again. Actually, the, the violence in the chart is much more likely to be protests and marches and the random scattered low-level violence that can sometimes go along with that. And that we are going to be seeing some of before the year is out, before December rocks around the end. But with such a strong um, emphasis and focus on foreign matters and, and foreign countries, it could be that there is also some problem in that area or some negotiations with respect to sorting that out. It does look like, though, we are going to making, be making deals with countries that we might not have had deals with before. Everything foreign is important, but not everything foreign is good. And there are warnings in the chart that there are some deals or uh, matters with our foreign relations, international relations, that are not to our favor and that will come short in the end. As next year is already so close, it's not surprising to see matters of education, particularly higher education, coming up on the charts again not as dramatically as we've seen issues around higher education in the past, but it does look like there are some 
uh, locked horns to sort out some problems that won't go away, perhaps a few f uh, power struggles in the higher education sector in general, or perhaps it could be a specific university or two. Those matters do look like they need to be sorted out, but it's also possible that there's some foreign input that's actually going to help that in some way. Opposition parties are staying relatively quiet. The DA will be keeping a relatively low profile, more or less until they get into their next major change phase, which, as I've said before, is April of next year. So certainly over the next month or two, a lot more quiet in their camp than we have seen for a while, as perhaps they try and regroup or figure out who they are or whatever it is that political parties do in their free time when none of us are watching or perhaps we actually know what they do. Let's not go there. What's much more important is that the kind of the energy level of the chart is toned down a little. There are no major dramas to watch out for except the kind of things that we are already used to. I mean, if I hadn't said it so many times before, from this very chart I would say there's some surprises of secrets being exposed to come out from this government. But that has happened so often in South Africa's charts that we know that a lot of it is referring to what's already out. So maybe, maybe we'll see some tiny little bit of cheery news from the Zondo Commission or the NPA or anyone um, who might be dealing with previous corruption matters that have gone on in this country. But for the most part, you know, I think a quiet month is perhaps something we can look forward to as we prepare for the end of the year. So enjoy it as summer takes slowly hold. Let's see what's actually happening for you. Aries, it looks like you're having a one step forward, one step back kind of month. And you might be feeling a little bit frustrated about that. Frustration might even seem to be the order of the day. And quite frankly, oldest best advice right now is to actually just chill and take a few extra steps back. There is no need to make forward progress at this time. In fact, this is a great time to be doing some behind the scenes work or preparation work or catching up work or any of the work that's kind of around the sides of what you need to do because clearing up that kind of stuff now is going to be uh, going to lead to much more progress in the new year the fact is your chart Aries is looking very strong at the moment and that frustration is really just you getting in the way of yourself Astrologically, this is an important time to be focusing on your own product, uh, projects, to be letting off steam on things that you like to do, fun, sport, playtime, all of those kind of things. That will mitigate a lot of the frustration, but it will also get some other goals on the go. It's a fantastic time to be developing something that's been up your sleeve or some particular personal or creative goal. And that might even be symbolized by the start of a new connection, maybe a new relationship in your life. So focus on the personal and the rest won't seem so frustrating. Taurus, you look like you're already ready for the holidays, but the holidays haven't quite gotten here. You might be just feeling weighed down or swamped in lots of probably trivial stuff and could be feeling a little reckless or careless. Not your usual style, so we probably don't have to worry that you're going to do anything too crazy, but you certainly will be feeling the urge to. So this is a great opportunity to try and get some of that crazy out elsewhere. Certainly the Aries are looking to share a good time with someone, and the Sagittarians are your best bet right now. Hook up there, because it looks like they are really cooking up a good party for their birthday this year, but you do need a little bit of light relief, or just really, it's somewhere to let off steam. That really seems to be what it's mostly about. Things are actually working more smoothly than they have been for a little while, and you probably will be seeing results if you pay attention to that. But you are challenged not to be careless, not to be reckless, not to be hasty, all of those things that are at the end of a period of slowness or frustration. Things are actually working well for you. You need to take advantage of that. So much so that you could even introduce a little bit of the excitement, the change and the fun into some of the more professional things in your life and look for some good changes, including an increase of your financial resources. Wouldn't that be great fun? Go for it. 
Gemini, while things are going so well for you as they are, you need to get to the bottom of something. And whether it's something that's concerning you, or more importantly, is concerning your partner, this is the time to get to whatever the issue really is. There's such a strong focus on professional development, goal fulfillment, all these things are working really well in your chart, and that is good, that's important and you must pursue that. But there's also an indication that you could just be taking some personal stuff for granted, perhaps even taking your actual partner for granted. This is a time then to put some important energy into that. In fact, looking at your chart, that is the most important thing. This could be a time of new relationships or further commitment in relationships, but the pleasures and goals shared with someone else stand to bring the greatest gains in your life right now. There seems also to be something that you could have been sweeping under the carpet or not really paying attention to, hoping it would go away. Well, no surprise, but it won't really. So this is also the time to be dealing with something that you don't really feel like dealing with at all. Seems like an unpleasant task to deal with. Well, at least the good news is it isn't really. It's just a bit of a drag. But once you get cracking and get it done, it'll be out of the way. You won't have to think about it again. So clear your own path. Cancerians, you might feel as if once again you're dealing with a bit of fate. It has been on and off a year of fatalistic things for you. And fate really means things that you don't feel that you're in control of or sometimes it feels like are happening to you no matter what you do. Actually, much of what goes on in our lives you aren't really in control of and feels like it's happening to us. But the lesson in this particular case is on the one hand about accepting that but, as we know, the Stoics have taught us to do. But more importantly, this is a time where there are other things that you can do. While outside circumstances seem completely beyond your control, your chart indicates this is a good time to start aligning your inner needs with your outer actions, your needs with your desires, what you're doing with where you're really coming from. Because that's really what's creating the most frustration. All the things that are not in your control seem much worse than they really are because you're a little bit out of alignment with yourself. So this is the opportunity to sort that out. Friends look really helpful at the moment. There's a lot of support. There's a lot of love. And there's a lot of harmony. Other people can bring you into a greater state of balance. But it starts inside. Bring yourself into balance by checking need versus desire, inner versus outer, and everything else will seem much more chill. For Leos, it looks like the holiday season has already arrived, next year has already arrived, it's all happening. Starting with that holiday season, of course this is a great time then for you to be taking a holiday. But more importantly, where your goals or your actually constructive activities require connections with foreigners or input from outside, this is the time to be doing that. This is also a good time to be acquiring new skills. So whether that's a course you've been meaning to do or leveling up in some way, this is that opportunity. Mostly, you'll be getting that desirable Leo situation of being pretty much at the center of attention or the focus of many things. This doesn't mean it's time to perform as if you're on a stage. Center of attention means everyone's paying attention, they're listening to you for guidance, they're following you as a leader or as an example setter, whatever the case may be. And so you actually need to be aware of that, kind of step up to a certain level of responsibility that goes along with that. This is a great opportunity for leadership to be telling others what they need to hear and to be taking charge of a situation where other people have been humming and hawing and not really moving forward. You can move your own self forward, you can move the rest of them forward. This is the time to be marching at the front. My word, Virgo, you might be a little bit surprised to realize how close the end of the year really is when you've got all that that still needs to be done. So this is the month of knuckling down and getting it done. This is your month of finishing unfinished business, addressing things which you've ignored or swept under the carpet, and also dealing with other people who might actually have been problematical for you. 
you know, as strong as the word sounds, sometimes we've got enemies, people who actually are working against us. And it looks like in recent times, you've come to realize who that is. It might not be someone who's out to get you. It's very often unintentional and really someone else's purposes cross over with ours. So it doesn't mean you have to confront anyone or end a friendship or relationship or something, but it does mean you need to untangle all of that because it does look like something else is dragging you back. It could be someone else and it could be some of that unfinished business that I've been referring to. Still, I mean, especially if you deal with that, but still it really is a great month for making progress in your goals, for not letting anyone stand in your way. And if there is someone that needs to be confronted, you go right ahead because this is a month where you win as long as you stand up for yourself, say what needs to be said and get on with it. No pussyfooting, no compromise. Go. Hey Libra, none of us are really surprised that you're already in party mode or it already really is just happening to you. Could be new people around and circumstances that look like Christmas has already arrived or at least the fun has already begun. So it has. <laughs> enjoy it and join it. But that doesn't mean that everything is just going to be easy because it looks like you're feeling a little bit scattered. You might feel pulled in many different directions and not sure where your energy should be focused. It also might be that other people can take advantage of that right now. You are at your most generous in this particular phase and maybe just a little bit of selfishness is required to make sure that you focus on what needs to be focused on. What is that? Doing something differently. While all the social stuff is important, there are those things going on, you, you still have your own goals and it looks like you need to take a completely different approach to something that you've been doing. A great way to do that, a great way to make that easier, is also through other people. It's friends and others around you at the moment who have a lot to offer and can be the source of great resources. However, how to get in your own way is finding yourself trying to be the peacemaker or make sure that everyone else benefits as much as you do. You don't need to do that. Be a little bit more selfish this month, Libra. It really seems to be working for you. Scorpios, as usual, you like to play your cards close to your chest. That's not unusual at all. I've often said that about our Scorpio president, Sir Ramaphosa, and hoped that that playing close to the chest means something is really happening. Well, look, never mind him. More importantly for you, there is a lot going on and playing your cards close to your chest will be necessary in your, pers in your professional life but not necessary in your personal life. So much so that in your personal life there are warnings about being misunderstood or being accused of using your energies in all the wrong places, like spending all that energy at work and not paying attention to the important personal stuff, all those kinds of things. So you need to sort out where your priorities lie and make sure that you address them there. It does look like there's something that's really been bothering you that you're still not talking about or that you're still not addressing. You urgently need to get that out in the open. Most Scorpios will find that to be in their professional life, um, but where it's in your personal life, it's especially dangerous. But in any event, you need to bring that out into the open. You're in a strong phase right now. People are willing to do what you say or listen to what you have to say at the very least. So Scorpio, it's kind of time to bring yourself out from wherever you've been keeping those chests, those cards close to your chest, wherever you've been hiding. Show your hand now. Sagittarius, it looks like the birthday fun has already started and this might be one of those years where you need to make it your birthday month instead of just your birthday. But be that all as it may, it's going to be fun from beginning to end. Fun doesn't only mean playing and having a good time. It means gaining easily or with relatively little effort. Or also means doing something that you love. Those are the things to really concentrate on at this time. In fact, doing something you love can also be the source of a lot of gains. This does seem to be a good month for money but it does require a little bit of action on your, on your behalf. You're not getting paid, you're generating it yourself. And quite frankly, you don't look like you're in the mood 
for much uh, much of that. It looks more like you're into the fun side of things than any of the work that you need to do. But bear in mind that a little goes a long way. The slightest effort is going to bring in a lot of good results for you. So if you're willing to make those slight efforts. You know, it also looks like people are willing to help you. There are lots of happy, willing helpers who are saying yes. And maybe you need to take advantage of some of what's being offered to you as well. A great time for your social life, for your friendship. That's where the good stuff is coming from. So get them on board. Capricorn, it looks like a lot of the effort that you've been making this year has paid off and you're beginning to wrap up the year on a really solid note. This month you can get your financial matters sorted and make sure that you end the year in a very clean and even way. It looks like that's happening. And of course for many Capricorns, actually there's new money coming in. It could really be a good time for earning and for all the hard work that goes along with that. One of the challenges though is collecting that work and it do, uh, uh, the, that money. And it does look like there might be a struggle to get something from someone who owes it to you. So being confrontational, being assertive, acting with leadership, all of those are going to be required in order for this to really, really work for you. Nevertheless, it is a time when you can build the confidence in yourself and make sure that you're in a much more solid place in the next year. Your birthday is going to be um, in another month and as we approach our birthdays, things just tend to get a little slower and flatter and we kind of get disheartened. You know, so as we reach the end of November, it's time to start winding things up, even though you've still got another two weeks of this great month for solidity and for gain. So try and wind things up a long time before your birthday. Enjoy the stability and you'll start the new year with a much better note. Aquarius, seems like you've been getting some good input lately and there certainly are good ideas and strategies that you've been working with and that you've been supplied with that could work very well for you in the coming month. However, it does seem as if there's either some unfinished business or more likely a person who stands in your way in some way. It's like a hidden enemy is what we used to call these astrological signs in the olden days. And although enemy is quite a strong word, it means they're operating against you. And so you need to sort that out and fix that before it actually causes you to come short. It could be that there's some unfinished business or something that you've left undone that you might have forgotten about or might have thought was all nice and rested and that is going to come back and haunt you through another person. So this is the time to get that sorted out once and for all. You might have to resolve a power struggle with that person. You might have to show what you're capable of and assert your strength, but you do need to sort it out, especially since it looks like you're in for a little bit of financial security and stability in general. And that's a great opportunity coming from a stronger place to sort out some things that might be lingering from the past or that someone has stirred up for you. Don't let anyone stir things because you're going to cook something spectacular out of it if they do. Pisces, it looks like you are in the perfect setup to end off the year on a well-rounded note. Financial matters seem to be in order. Personal matters seem to be in order. You're in a position to really benefit from all of that. Or, given that it's December, you can actually chill and have a bit of a holiday if you want to do that. Quite frankly, I don't think that's going to happen. It looks like you are really busy doing lots and lots of things at the same time. So if that's the case, don't neglect what's going on at home. There is a focus around domestic matters. For some Pisceans, that could be property matters. So for the buying and selling of property, this is an outstanding time for you, especially the selling or anywhere where there is some real money coming in. That's a great possibility. But for most Pisceans, it's going to be simpler pleasures, but pleasures aplenty. So your personal relationships and your professional relationships will be a source of gain. On the subject of those personal relationships, it does look like there's great opportunities to take an existing relationship further, show some sign of commitment or you know, take on a bit of a challenge for yourself in the relationship or 
taking it further or doing something that you haven't done together before because it looks like there's a lot of luck in that regard for the Pisceans who find themselves single this could be your last opportunity to have some fun on your own because it looks like you might not be single for that much longer at least though making some new friends enjoy them we've still got a few great interviews coming up this year and some interesting shows before we get to the end of the year and where I'll repeat a few of your favorite shows. So remember to get hold of me on Facebook at the uh, page of the show or email me and we can see what's your favorite show and perhaps you'll see it again over the holiday season if you're around and at home. Looking forward to having a bit of a break myself. Meanwhile, I'll be back next week with a great interview and someone who really gets to grips with matters of living your soul life. Be sure to join me next week.